Hello there, I am the Common Sense Guy. Today I'm going to be talking about a story that is literally nothing but an opinion piece that has been published as an actual newsworthy, news credible news source. So without further ado, let's get into the Euro News sceptical news story, shall we? You will see why I call it very sceptical when we get into the story about how the different language is used. For instance, some of the language used is suggested, opinion, support this view. These are the type of words that have been put into place to continue the ideology of thinking that Russia is hacking different places. Now, this is not a story protecting Russia. So for anybody thinking that I'm protecting Russia, please bog off. I'm not trying to do that at all, but at the same time, I'm not going to tell a country that they've done something wrong when they haven't actually even done something. Now, with that being said, I feel that it's a good idea to start getting into this video and carry on. So without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? So, getting into the story today, as you can see, we're going to be talking about Dutch intelligence agencies that has infiltrated Russia group that hacked the US Democratic Party. So European news, Euro news, has got this before the Americans, is publishing it before the Americans, and is talking about the American election system. So this will be very, very interesting. Now, I am not trying to say that the Dutch do not have a good intelligence agency, but I'm just saying you would not have expected the Dutch to be able to come up with this or go through this. Now, again, as I'm just saying, that is a preconception. That's not actually necessarily true. But I thought, as we're throwing around some wild accusations in this story, I thought I'd throw around a couple as well. So, let's actually get into the story, shall we? So, a joint investigation between two Dutch news outlets. So, not even intelligent agencies now. Re re remember this. Not even intelligence agencies now. So already dropped that premise. The title is absolutely fake at this point in time. So a joint investigation between two Dutch news outlets reported how intelligence officials watched hackers steal thousands of emails and files from systems used by the Democratic National Committee, the DNC. Very interesting that. So you're telling me that reporters were watching intelligence agency workers watching the Russians nick thousands upon thousands of emails or producing thousands of thousands of emails. Can I smell something in the air here? I must be smelling something because something just doesn't seem right on this point. So reporters are watching intelligence agencies watching them watching the Russians nick things. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's carry on with this, whatever this is. Hackers from Dutch intelligence service, AIVD, infiltrated a Russian hacker group a year before it hacked into Hillary Clinton's Democratic campaign team. It has been claimed. Interesting, but yet you're publishing this story like it's actually true. It's a very, very interesting. I notice how the... It goes the AIVD, Intelligence Service, and then it goes a joint investigation by two Dutch news outlets details how AIVD infiltrated the Russian computer network Cozy Bear in mid-2014, which is four years ago now. But my main point on this is, this is very, very interesting. If MI6 or MI5, for the UK perspective, or CIA, do you think that they, for American perspective, do you think that they would have actually have said anything or produced anything in the news? No. That's correct. They wouldn't have done. They wouldn't have produced anything for news outlets to come out. But yet, the news outlets that are working with this intelligent agency are able to produce things that are going on. I find that very, very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. The story was published in Die Volkskrant, sorry if I butchered that, and aired on a current affairs program, Nia Nusa, 
in the Netherlands on Thursday. I am sorry if I butchered those. Cozy Bear has been linked to other cyber attacks on governments, telecom corporations and energy companies around the world, including in Germany and the Netherlands. Well, that beggars a question then. If it infiltrated it in 2017, why were these attacks allowed to be carried out? Why weren't they published? Why is it only these published that these are being published now about the Americas? Is there by any chance a narrative that you want to try and fulfill? Is there by chance a narrative that you're trying to perpetuate at this moment in time? To me, from my understanding, if you were there from 2014 and these cyber attacks are supposed to have happened since 2014 and you haven't done anything to stop them or produce anything to stop them, or even produced a news outlet paper to try and stop them. How is this story even relevant? This is just an opinion piece by two goddamn news organisations claiming they have talking powers with AIVD. If they're any sort of intelligence agency, why would they be working hand in hand with a news organisation and national news organisations at that? It makes no sense for an international intelligence agency to be able to do that it makes no sense whatsoever that AIVD reportedly witnessed Russian hackers transferring thousands of emails and files from the Democratic National Committee the DNC servers and informed the FBI the DNC governs the US Democratic Party notice how they have to put that in there because nobody in Europe really gives a crap about this and the fact that you're saying that they've reportedly reportedly being the obstinate word the word that you need to look at this and realize that this is an opinion piece because it's not actually saying that they witnessed it they're saying reportedly witnessed this is an opinion piece but it's being published as an actual piece on russia in general now this is worrying to me because you are perpetuating this idea that russia is bad now, i'm not trying trying to say that russia is good either but I'm not trying to say that the Russia is going to be causing this or that or is doing all these different things. If you can show me any evidence, I would absolutely love it and I would agree with you. But at this moment in time, shut up, move on, provide me some evidence. So this is coming towards the end of the story. We've only got four more paragraphs, so we'll just read this. The AIVD's observation provided crucial evidence? Really? Of Russia involvement in the attacks that news organization reported adding that six anonymous American <sighs> sorry I just reread just a little bit adding that six anonymous American and Dutch sources supported this view now I'm not very good on English I know it's my first language, but the grammar and words are quite hard for me. But if you're going to say supported this view, is that not an opinion piece? Is that not saying that we support this opinion? Rather than saying, no, we support this stance. Meaning that you're willing to back it up with evidence. But as it's a view, and the fact that they remain uh, remaining anonymous, and to be fair, there would only be three of each, if any, would be saying that, yeah, we support this view. I don't see how there's crucial evidence either. But let's just move on. Let's just move on. From that view, let's just move on. US officials have speculated that the hacks led to the successful election of Republican candidate Donald Trump. No? Do you know what led to the election of Donald Trump? The fact that Hillary was crooked and the fact that she fucked up on Benghazi, the fact that she fucked up on all of her emails on her servers, not on the DNC servers, on her servers. So this story is a, hmm, to quote a CNN newsreader, a nothing burger, even to begin with, is absolutely fucking funny. And I don't care about monetization at this moment in time. I honestly feel that this story is just an opinion piece. And I didn't know that news outlets were allowed to produce opinion pieces nowadays without saying that they're opinion pieces. I absolutely find this funny. 
The Trump campaign team is currently under a higher profile investigation into its links with the Russians. And I would like to point out that every time that they tried to pull something, there has been no evidence to corroborate any of the ideas. Every person they've even interviewed, even when they try to say, oh, this is going to be absolutely damning, comes out to be absolutely nothing and produces nothing. Interesting that, isn't it? That investigation that's going on for well over a year now, well over a year, I believe it started in January 2017 and is well over a year now. It's just absolutely amazing that they haven't found one shred of evidence. It's just a force of trying to find anything that's to able to impeach Trump. And now they're actually doing opinion pieces on him. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, we use this bit from Euro News because Euro News knows well exactly what's going on. Well, obviously it doesn't because it's an opinion piece. Both Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin have denied collusion. Of course they would do, because there's no evidence of it. So this is the response from the press secretary from the Kremlin. So Kremlin press secretary Dmitry Pesakov dismissed the Dutch reports on Friday, denouncing them as unreliable. Amazing that, considering that it's not actually from any intelligence services. It's mostly from these news organisations that are making these claims. Interesting. If Dutch newspapers, which listen to the language, if Dutch newspapers want to add fuel to the fire of anti-Russian hysteria that exists in America, this is not the most noble occupation, he told Russia. TASS news agency. We have neither heard nor seen any statements from the Dutch Special Services on that score. Interesting, isn't it? The whole point of this is opinion pieces. You look at the different languages. For instance, as I said before, American and Dutch sources supported this view. Interesting. That's a view. Very, very interesting. Hillary Clinton's Democratic campaign, campaign team. It has been claimed. Again, it's a view. It's not actually trying to state anything. It's not trying to pinpoint anything. This is to move the masses of hysteria in people and to try to make them believe a false narrative. And this is why people call fake news, fake news. This is an opinion piece that has no credibility in it whatsoever. Absolutely no credibility in it whatsoever. Even at the top, where it says a joint investigation between two Dutch news outlets reported how intelligent officers watched hackers steal thousands of emails and files from systems used by the Democratic National Committee. It still says reported. Still says reported. The actual title of this is absolutely ludicrous as well. Dutch intelligence infiltrated Russia group that had the US Democratic Party. There's no proof of anything like that. And just so people know as well, what we're actually going to do at this point in time, I'm actually going to go to the source. I'm actually going to go to both sources that have been used in this. So let's actually have a look at this Dutch newspaper that is supposed to have been the first ones to do this point. So Dutch agency provide crucial intel about Russia's interference in US election. So let's see if anything's actually different on this point, shall we? Hackers from the Dutch intelligence service AIVD have provided the FBI with crucial information about Russia's interference with the American elections. For years, AIVD has had access to the infamous Russian hacker group Cozy Bear. That's what D. Voltzkrant and Nuva Nur have uncovered in their investigation. So that's in intriguing, isn't it? In these two news organisations, again, these two news organisations have now infiltrated an infiltration special forces unit that deals with cyber warfare or whatever, and they've been able to integrate and infiltrate this point to be able to get this news. Does anybody else find that worrying and very, very silly? To the point of going, well, if these news organisations can infiltrate it, then why couldn't Russia understand what's going on? But whatever, let's, let's carry on. I want to carry on reading this. 
It's summer of 2014. A hacker from the Dutch intelligence agency, AVD, has penetrated the computer network of a university building next to the Red Square in Moscow. Obvious to the implications, one year later from the AIVD headquarters in Zotimimir, he and his colleagues witnessed Russian hackers launching an attack on the Democratic Party of the United States. So, somebody in the university building at the Red Square in Moscow, or near the Red Square in Moscow, is now Russia. That's like trying to say that Anonymous, say, come from England. I know they necessarily don't. But that's like trying to say that Anonymous come from England, and they hack somewhere in Greece, and now England has to take charge of what's happened to Greece. When it's not. It's the group that's done it. If they've done it at all. Which I still find absolutely intriguing to me. Because they still haven't provided any proof. Their AIVD hackers have not infiltrated just any building. They were in the computer network of the infamous Russian hacker group Cozy Bear. And unbeknownst to the Russians, they could see everything. Again, the fact that you're trying to conflate the idea that even if... Even if you were integrated into this Russian cozy bear, proves to me that the Russian government was in control of this and it wasn't just the Russians. If this is even true. That's how the AIVD has become witnesses to the Russian hackers harassing and penetrating the leaders of the Democratic Party. I thought that they've only actually just come to the point of demigrating Hillary. I don't think that they've actually come to the point of actually doing all these things with the Democratic Party itself. Whatever, let's, let's carry on. It won't be the last time they alert their American counterparts. And yet, it will be months before the United States realise what is this warning means. That with these hacks, the Russians have interfered with the American elections and the, AV, the AIVD hackers have seen it happening before their very eyes. Very, very interesting. I do have to say it's very interesting. I see no actual form of proof. I see no, no proof whatsoever in this newspaper whatsoever. There's no sources, no nothing. I just want to carry on from the bottom because I'm not going to read the whole of the story. I really cannot be bothered. A red battle, actually it hasn't, that was soon pays off in November. The Russians prepare for an attack on one of their prime targets, the American State Department. By now they've obtained email addresses and the login credentials and so This is just a... Oh, this is amazing. Fake email, he thinks he's received an email from the State Department. The email address is similar and clicks the link in the message. The link opens... A website where the White House employee then enters his login res credentials now obtained by the Russians and that is how the Russians infiltrate the White House. Did do people fucking realize this? That this is supposed to be the, the way that the Russians have infiltrated into the White House apparently right? So fake email. He receives an email from the State Department. The email address is similar which means that it's fucking fake and clicks the link in the message. The link opens a website where the White House employee then enters his login credentials. Interesting. Interesting. So you're trying to say that there was a video of somebody actually entering their login details. Or are you trying to say that the White House person is entering the login details and at the same time simultaneously there's a computer that's doing exactly the same thing? Because either way, what the fuck? See, that's why I'm not bothered about this story. I'm not bothered about reading the story. I will provide the link in the description. But this is just propaganda. There's no evidence in it. It's just literally read and read for absolutely no particular reason. Unprepared, the Americans taken completely by surprise by the Russian aggression in Washington for years. Painter has was responsible for America, America's cyber policy. He resigned last August. 
So he resigned last August. So this is what he actually was supposed to be in charge of. Remember, Cozy Bear supposedly has been active since 2014. Or at least that's when the AIVD has actually supposed to have infiltrated in this point. That's absolutely amazing to me. Absolutely amazing to me. We never expected that the Russians would do this. Attacking our vital infrastructure and undermining our democracy. Well, if there's proof of this, that is war. That is cyber warfare, which means you can go to war. Very, very interesting. I do not think that this has happened. I will provide both links in the description box below. Please go and have a look. The one from the Euro is a hell of a lot more better worded than what this is. This is just propaganda. The, the, there is no links or anything. I want to get to the bottom and see if there's any links provided to this. There is no links provided to this whatsoever. I'm no longer in Cozy Bear's computer network. Well, then how do you know that you've got the... Oh, whatever. The Dutch espionage lasted between 1 to 2.5 years. So how did you even see what was going on? That's amazing for the timeline. So they started in 2014. A year from that is 2015. Two and a half years from that is 2017-ish. That's absolutely amazing. Amazing timeline. That's a fucking coincidence. And do you know what my mum told me about coincidences? There is no coincidences in life. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Things happen for a reason. There is a particular reason why they were only in there for a year to 2.5 years. And it's interesting. Oh, absolutely amazing this. Messes and even a different firewall can cut off access. The AIVD declined to respond. To st <laughs> Surely if you had some sort of form of thing, you can just go, oh, yay or nay. You don't have to explain anything. But the fact that they declined to respond just shows you everything, doesn't it? As I said, I think that's the end of this newspaper little review. The reason why I did this is because I wanted to prove the fact of fake news. There is no news sources. There is no sources. This is literally just done as propaganda. This is done as scaremongering. And I find it very interesting that big news organisations like Euronews, one of the biggest in obviously the European Union, is producing stories and actually going through the point of saying this is an opinion piece. They've obviously read through this like I have done and gone, well no, this is kind of an opinion piece, you provide no source for it. So we can't categorically state anything. So I find that very, very interesting. So just to reiterate, the reason why I did this story was to... Prove that there is such thing out there as fake news. And the fact that forced narratives are being perpetuated by ideological people to produce ideological perspectives. Now, this is the point of trying to say that we want to believe that Russia hacked the DNC so badly, we are willing to look at a story that contradicts itself on numerous occasions, and that's why I provided you with the source in the description box below. And these stories that keep on being perpetuated, like this one in itself, is opinion pieces, but yet is being published not as opinion pieces, but as actual credible news sources. And this type of thing needs to stop. There's so much more news that you can produce and get ratings off of than just trying to perpetuate this idea that Russia hacked the US. If there was any proof in over a year's investigation in the US... Why is it not being produced now? And why is it that this story completely and utterly corroborates the timeline between one and two and a half years? And then all of a sudden it got cut off and then produced back into it again. Why has it never come out against anything else that it's supposed to have witnessed, even though it's been linked to witnessing it? The story in itself has so many inconsistencies that it just makes one disbelieve the story in its whole entirety now this is just an opinion of a cat that sits on the settee so i would like to have your opinions in the chat below let me know what you think of this story do you think that this is a story that actually has some substance to it with no credible news sources or do you think that this is just an opinion piece but the opinion piece needs to work or do you think this is an opinion piece that is just literally from ideological points of view forcing a narrative now if you have any other opinions on this news story please again put it in the comment section below i'll be more than willing to listen to any of these points
and talk to you about them. But with that, I bid you farewell and I bid you adieu. But don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye-bye for now.